Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can cheat in the game Dungeon Defenders 1 using Cheat Engine. For the sake of this tutorial, we're going to make a brand new character and load into the game. We're going to launch Cheat Engine and then click this little icon here and attach to Dungeon Defenders. And you can see at the top here, it says dundefgame.exe that confirms that it is attached to the game. And the first thing we're going to do is change our banked mana. You can see in the game here, I have 990,700 mana. So we're gonna go into cheat engine and we're gonna do scan type, exact value, value type, all, and we're gonna scan 990700 and click first scan. And you can see we have a short list of addresses here. We're just gonna go ahead and spend some money. to Let that update, all of them updated. So. One of these is going to be the address responsible for our banked mana. So we're just gonna go down this list of addresses and values and change all of them one by one. And the second one is the one that worked. So we're just gonna rename that to mana bank and delete the rest. And now we can change this to something like 80 million. So now we have 80 million in the bank and we're gonna spend some just to confirm that it's working. It is, so that's great. Now we're just gonna jump into a mission and we're gonna get some XP. So here we have two XP. I'm gonna scan for the value of two. We'll get some more XP. We have seven, so we'll scan for seven. We finished the wave, now we have 17 XP. So we'll scan for 17. And now we have nine addresses. Any one of these could be the one responsible for our XP. And we're just gonna go through this list one at a time and set it to 100. And we're gonna see if any of them changes our XP value. Okay, it was this one. So we're just gonna name this one XP and delete the rest. Now we can change this to a really high number and just give ourselves the max level, but we're gonna use this time to find our hero stats. So here we have one to our hero health. So we're just gonna scan for one and we're gonna put two stats into hero health. So now we have three to our hero health. So we'll scan for three. We're gonna change our XP to 500, which will make us level up. And we're gonna spend the stats on health as well. And we're gonna scan for five. We'll scan again. And now we have a shorter list of addresses to work with. So we're gonna grab all of these just like last time. And we're gonna go through each one and just turn them into six. So this one worked. So this one is going to be hero health. We're gonna delete the rest. And we can change this to 99. And you can see we have hero health plus 99. Now we can do this step over and over to find the rest of these stats, but we're gonna do something a little bit easier. We're going to right click on this address and we're gonna click browse this memory region. That's gonna open up this window. And we're gonna to click tools, dissect data slash structures. And then that's gonna open up another window and then from the top menu, we're gonna pick structures, define new structure and click okay. Now this is gonna bring up a whole bunch of addresses and their values. This is basically all the information that has to do with our character stats. So you can see all these zeros here. We can probably guess that if we change this to a 99, it's gonna change another one of our stats. And that changed our hero speed. So we can go ahead and change all of these to 99 without having to rescan for all of them. And that's a really easy way we can edit our hero stats. Now there's a lot of addresses and values here, and there are a lot of things you can change in this game. I would encourage you to play around with this and see what you can find on your own, because there are a lot of stats you can change. Some of them are not even shown to you. So play around with this. It might crash your game, that's okay. Just know that this can glitch out your character. So I would say maybe do this on a character you don't really care about if you're gonna be doing experimental stuff. Next, we're gonna find the mana that we have in game, which is 43. So we'll do new scan and we'll scan for the value of 43. We're gonna pick up some mana orbs. Now we have 46. And you can see we have five addresses to work with. Now this part is tricky because it's not going to update the mana as soon as we change it. 
One way we can do this is to look at our upgrade defense option here where it says you need at least 100 mana. So what we're gonna do is just change these to 100 one at a time and see if that option becomes enabled. Okay, that was the one to do it. So we'll just call this one max mana and delete the rest. We're gonna set this to 2000 and we're gonna check this little box here and that's gonna freeze the value. And now we have enough mana to create whatever tower we want, as well as fully upgrading them. We can also take a look at our defense units, which is six. So we'll do first scan six, and we'll build a tower, and now it's nine. So we'll scan for nine, build another tower, scan for 12. And now we have three addresses to work with. So we'll add that to our address list. And one at a time, we're just gonna change them to something like five and we'll build a new tower. That wasn't it, so we'll try the other one. Build a new tower, that wasn't it, and we'll try the last one, set it to five, and we'll build a new tower, and that was it. So we'll just call this one defense units. We can freeze it at eight, so now we can build infinite towers with no limit. We can also do this to give infinite ammo to ranged characters. You can see we have 25 crossbow bolts. So we can just scan for 25, shoot one of our bolts, scan for 24, shoot another one, scan for 23. And again, we have three addresses. So we'll just change them to 25. We'll call it ammo. And now you can see we have unlimited ammo without any need to reload. This can also be done to make sure that your Eternia Crystal has infinite health. An easy way to do this is to go up to your Eternia Crystal, see how much health it has for your level. For this level, it's 1500, so we're gonna scan for 1500, and we're gonna set the scan type to decreased value. And we're not gonna scan just yet. We're gonna start the wave, and we're gonna let some monsters hit it. And as they hit it, we're gonna keep scanning for decreased value, and we're gonna find it quick and freeze it. And that's gonna give it infinite health. Okay, they're about to hit it. Next scan, next scan. All right, we have two values here. We're just gonna go and freeze both. And now you can see it's stuck at the health that we froze it at. And now we can take our time clearing the level. And that is a really easy way that you can cheat in Dungeon Defenders 1 using Cheat Engine. If the video helped you, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to show your support. I'll see you in another video.